Artist Marc Chagall produced a number of paintings in stained glass, including the Peace Window in the United Nations World Headquarters. Now, Chagall was very familiar with war and tragedy during his own lifetime. This illustrates how an artist can share hope, healing, and encouragement through the things that they create. So using peace as a theme, today we'll create painted windows with floating imagery and Chagall-inspired color. Think of some symbols that might illustrate peace. Using crayons on colored tissue paper, select four or five of these ideas. Illustrate them on the front and the back side of the image, then cut them out. Next, take a document-sized laminating pouch and open it up. Mix some white glue with a little water and brush it on one side of an image. Place that image onto the laminating pouch. Then take the glue and brush it over the top of the image, making sure you extend the glue beyond the edges on all sides. After all images have been placed and the glue dries, start filling the background with some white tissue paper. Brush clear water over the top of the tissue paper. You don't need to use glue because the water will hold the tissue paper in place long enough to stick it down. Apply it right up to, but not overlapping, each of the shapes. Allow it to wrinkle naturally and fill the entire background this way. Use plenty of water and pressure with your fingers. Leave about a quarter of an inch on all edges for a border. While it's wet, apply liquid watercolor directly to the tissue paper, letting it bleed and flow naturally. This will look just like stained glass when it's done. Now the crayon and the glue will keep the watercolor from flowing into the images, but for best results, don't paint right up to an image. Allow it to dry overnight, then seal it with a regular household iron set on a nylon or polyester heat setting. The pouch will turn clear as it seals, but for best results, make sure you iron on both sides. Now to make it really look like stained glass, it needs to have lead lines. A simple way to accomplish this is to use a permanent black chisel tip marker. I've already started by following some of the tissue lines that I'm finding in the piece. You'll also want to make sure that you outline each of the shapes and finish by creating a black border to define it as a window. These look truly beautiful hanging in a window especially when you display an entire class together. I hope you enjoy sharing this lesson plan with your students. Please visit dickblick.com backslash lesson plans to find detailed instructions, teaching standards, and additional educational information. Thank you so much.